dramatically last Sunday against Hibernian by three goals to two. Coming into the side, Jim Patterson for Craig Easton. He actually drops down to the bench. And young Stephen McConnell, at 18 years of age, gets his first full Premier League start this season. He comes in for Joachim Perez, who's out with a shoulder injury. Well, only one change in the Aberdeen lineup from the side which lost 5-1 to Rangers last week. New signing Kato Gundweig comes in for the suspended Paul Bernard who was sent off in last week's match. And the referee today, no worries about the old firm. Hugh Dallas takes charge of this new firm derby. Aberdeen get this match underway. And quite amazingly, it's a Don side who haven't won here at Tannadice since 1994, haven't scored a goal since 1994. And it really is a major worry for Aberdeen when you come to a place like Tannadice and you struggle to get a goal against the Dundee United side, it has to be said. You really are Jekyll and Hyde. You never know which side's going to turn up. They're so inconsistent, and that's something which Paul Sturrock is hoping to rectify as Billy Dodds tries to set United off in the first attack. That's going to score by Kiriakov. And there's good bike. Welcome to Scottish football. Andy Dow, early free kick, Alan Cole, getting his first confident grasp of the ball. Dallas just stepping in there, Andy Dow. Jess with a free kick all the way through. Cole makes a mistake there. Well, one wonders if maybe the sun was affecting Alan Cole or did he get the shout from the defender? Either way, they were very lucky to get away with that one. Winters. Jinking one way, then the other. Here's a chance, Andy Dow. So close for Andy Dow to provide Aberdeen with a goal. Well, nice play by Robbie Winters. He just looked up. Dow made the run towards the back post, but he couldn't direct it onto the goal. Well, that's long. Billy Dodds has managed to stay on side. Good touch by Dodds. Looking up for some support. Nice play by Billy Dodds again, getting away from his man. There's a chance! Well, once again, Aberdeen's frailty is there for all to see. Dodds getting a beautiful cross into the danger area. And Jim Patterson almost getting on the end of it. What a way to mark your comeback. And Paul Sturrock has made significant changes and he clearly wants a bit more consistency from his side. Worrell. Kalashnikov. Billy Dodge just watching the offside. And McConnell logs trickery. It eventually breaks to Worrell. He cuts this one back. Here's a chance. Jim Patterson. Well, you can see why Paul Sturrock wanted him back in the side. Patterson on two occasions has managed to get into the, the box. Late, this time the header, failing to find the target. Here's Jess, now a chance for Aberdeen to break. And I've got Andy Dow over, if Kiriakov can look up. Plays it towards him, there's Andy Dow. What a shot! Oh! Well, you can see a smile in his face. It was crying out from the cross from Kiriakov. He set himself up, pulled the trigger. Scott Dahl will be happy with the way his side have played. They've looked promising at stages. And they haven't lost a goal as yet. And they say it's the perfect time to get a goal. Just before half time. But unfortunately, it won't happen in this match. It's been a game of few chances. The best of them for Dundee United, falling to Jim Patterson. He had a shot and a header. 
but at half time it's Dundee United nil, Aberdeen nil. Well, it wasn't a great first half, so I suppose the cry from everyone inside the stadium is please give us some goals and some entertainment in the second half. A few chances. And very little good football from both sides. United could maybe up the tempo a bit. They certainly have the potential to do so. Aberdeen, however, well, that's a team that is undoubtedly still trying to gel and still has a few pieces of the jigsaw missing. Always let that one through, McAllister. Here's Patterson. He gets the ball in again. Coming in at the back, Hannah with the header. Here's Billy Dodds. Gets it on his left. Wonderful goal by Billy Dodds. Billy Dodds takes the acclaim and goal number eight of the season and six in the last nine games. Well, it was a poor clearance. Dodds had all the time in the world to steady himself, get it onto his left, Leighton with no chance. And the breakthrough, thankfully, 48 minutes. Aberdeen, a goal down. Who would be in that man's shoes at the moment? Such a difficult job ahead to change the fortunes of Aberdeen. The free kick goes in, the back foot, there again is a chance, here's Patterson, 2-0! Dundee United with a two-goal advantage and Aberdeen in complete disarray at the back. Well, yet again, the ball into the box causing them all sorts of problems regardless of their height they fail to clear the lanes and Patterson unchallenged finishes it off <laughs> just over a half hour to go and still time to at least get back into this game but for the moment United in the ascendancy David Lilly may well find himself rather fortunate. Patterson, well, that was a late challenge there by Lilly. And he's lucky not to get a yellow card for that one. It's as if Jim Patterson will be struggling to take any further part in this match. Billy Dodds again thinking about the shot, takes a deflection, oh it's a goal! The cruelest of luck, but Billy Dodds will have no sympathy for his former team. It's 3-0 Dundee United. Well, what a way to celebrate getting an award at the start of the match and reward for all your efforts. And then again, Aberdeen giving the ball away cheaply. Billy Dodds picked it up. You could tell right away he was only interested in having the shot. It takes the cruelest of deflections. I think Russell Anderson is the man at fault. has given a penalty kick and I have to say I'm absolutely bemused at his decision well it was a hopeful ball in here Jim Hamilton was always going to challenge for it and DeVos yet again for the second week is a judge to have come across the centre forward with his arm and Aberdeen it can only be said have a chance once again with Salford to net from the penalty spot, and he does. A goal against Rangers from 12 yards, and he repeats that feat confidently against Alan Combe. And referee Hugh Dallas 
brings this match to an end. A first half to forget, but the second half came to life with Billy Dodds getting the opening goal. Jim Patterson added a second as Aberdeen yet again failed to clear the lines. And it was Dodds yet again who added goal number three before Thomas Sober got a consolation penalty award in the dying seconds of the match. It made no difference. At the end, Dundee United were the winners by three goals to one.